Good afternoon and welcome to the American Museum of Natural History. I'd like to thank each of you for coming to celebrate the ninth annual Urban Advantage Science Expo. Yep. In addition to welcoming all the students and teachers here today, I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to friends and family members who've come to share in this celebration of student achievement in science. I'd also like to welcome representatives from the New York City Council and Department of Education and my colleagues from the Urban Advantage Partner Institutions. We're all very excited to see your projects and learn about your work as scientists. This year we have over 600 students here presenting over 330 projects from 72 schools and over 90 science teachers. <clears throat> Urban Advantage is a partnership program in science education involving the museum, the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, the New York Botanical Garden, the New York Hall of Science, the Queens Botanical Garden, the Staten Island Zoological Society, and the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo and New York Aquarium, as well as the New York City Department of Education. Urban Advantage was launched in 2004 with about 30 schools and 60 teachers. Today, the program includes more than 360 teachers, 124 schools, and reaches over 33,000 middle school kids in New York City. Yes, that is exciting. The UA program includes all five boroughs and represents about 22% of all the middle schools in New York City with an eighth grade. The science projects here today on display provide evidence of the program's success. I want to congratulate the students presenting here today and their teachers, school administrators, and families who've helped to support this work. The student work on display today represents some of the best examples of middle school science projects in New York City. Speaking for the Urban Advantage Partners, we're very proud of your accomplishments and very happy that the institutions can support this important work in our city toward the improvement of middle school science education. This program would, often, would not be possible without the public support from the Speaker and the Council of the City of New York and the New York City Department of Education. Urban Advantage helps teachers, students, and their families learn how to best use the incomparable science resources of eight New York City institutions to improve student learning. By marshalling the wealth of resources from these science-rich culture institutions, Urban Advantage is improving science education for middle school students. Working together, we can expand the opportunities for authentic student investigations and increase science literacy for middle school students and their families. So all of you would not be here today if it wasn't for a middle school science teacher helping you get here today. So I want to invite up, absolutely. So I want to invite up one of our Urban Advantage middle school teachers, Stefali Thakar, if you'll come up and join me. Safali teaches at the Columbia Secondary School in Harlem, and she and her colleague Lauren DeFino, who's a seventh grade teacher at N Tech Academy in, in the Bronx, were recently highlighted in a video about Urban Advantage and teaching science here in New York City. Oh, Lauren is here, wonderful. So we're gonna take a minute, and I wanna honor both these teachers as well as all the teachers in Urban Advantage, because without your work and without your persistence in supporting students, this event wouldn't happen. and I teach 7th grade Science and Health at Intec Academy, located in Kingsbridge in the Bronx. And I've been teaching here for three years. I got into teaching because my father's a teacher, my mom runs a daycare center, I've grown up around kids. I describe my experience at Columbia Secondary School as a science, technology, engineering, and math teacher as one that is full of adventures and constantly evolving and changing. We're a science, technology, engineering, and math school. We foster this creative approach to teaching and learning where children can dream projects and build them and think about how things work. Is it you're either a scientist or you're an engineer, or can you be both? Call on someone, Ethan. I love teaching science in New York City. There's 
ton of resources. In tech, it's a technology school, so I have access to a lab technician, computers and projectors, and lots of supplies to work with and there's a lot of collaboration and teamwork going on. My favorite thing about coming to work every day is that I have to really sell whatever topic I'm teaching and to make it fun and interesting and relate to their lives. And that's a challenge. And you hear the word challenge a lot, but I know I would be bored sitting in a cubicle somewhere. The DOE has many systems in place to support teachers, and we have some wonderful partnerships with Columbia University with Urban Advantage Program for the Museum of Natural History and all of the partner institutes. It's absolutely amazing how Urban Advantage influenced my teaching and supported my classroom. For example, your first year with Urban Advantage, you do 50 hours of professional development and you take classes at the different cultural institutions and learn from experts on how to teach inquiry and do experiments and hands-on learning with the students. And that has definitely shaped my instructional practice. Urban Advantage does the hard work of giving you the resources and tools on how to best use those resources. And a lot of the programs that it offers gives kids an outlet for their natural curiosity. And we can actually use some of the facilities outside, whether it's at the Museum of Natural History or the Bronx Zoo or the Botanical Gardens to get some of those hands-on projects going so that they can use these institutions as an extension of their classroom. For example, we ended up taking my students to the Bronx Zoo and doing field studies on animals. And at the end of the year, when I asked them, you know, what was their favorite thing about eighth grade science, almost all of them said their exit projects that they did at the Bronx Zoo. You take them out of a classroom into a physical space where they can see a real life, you know, 200 foot rocket and there's going to be this awe moment that you can't replicate in the classroom. I'm very proud to be a teacher in New York City and to teach a topic that the president is saying is important and that we need more STEM teachers and teaching to this demographic is so rewarding. You don't see the rewards in the first year. I find it's the second year when all your students are coming back to visit you and talk to you that you really know that you've made an impact. If you're looking to be a STEM teacher in the New York City Department of Education, the world is your oyster. It's a, one of the biggest school systems in the world and it has partnerships that you can only imagine. It's an exciting field. This is where change happens and you just are a part of that change. All right, so let's hear it for the middle school science teachers in New York City and Urban Advantage. All right, now I'd like to introduce Gail Brewer. Gail is a great supporter of the Urban Advantage program a city council member and, is, and represents City Council District 6 here in Manhattan, which is the home for AM&H. Councilwoman Brewer was first elected office in 2002. Her service in the council is a continuation of more than 30 years of public service and advocacy. Councilmember Brewer not only has supported the Urban Advantage program over the years, but she's been a tremendous friend of the program from the very beginning, really helping us to get the program off the ground. We're most appreciative for the support she provides us at New York City, in the, at City Hall, to continue the work of UA across the city. Please join me in welcoming Council Member Gail Brewer. Thank you very much. I'm Gail Brewer. I represent the west side of Manhattan, but I love Queens. Anybody here from Queens? And the head of the Queen's Botanical Garden is here. Anybody here from Brooklyn? And the head of the Brooklyn Botanical Garden. Anybody here from Staten Island? Anybody here from the Bronx? And anybody here from Manhattan? So, I'm, I represent MS333, but I love all middle schools. I love science. And I, and I want to say, you make New York proud, because you know, you know about water and air and the earth and the environment. And I want to thank your teachers and your parents and to say this is one of the best events in the whole city of New York. Congratulations! I want to thank the American Museum and all the other five borough museums that work with Urban Advantage, the City Council 
puts in money, but you should talk to your council member to put in more money. And you should talk to the Department of Education to put in more money to the Urban Advantage. Thank you for being here. Yay, Urban Advantage. Thank you. And next up, we have Nora Lovett, representing the Office of School Programs and Partnerships in the New York City Department of Education. Good afternoon. I'm Nora Lovett, Senior Director of Instructional Programs for the Department of Education's Office of School Programs and Partnerships. I'm delighted to be here today on behalf of Chancellor Walcott. It is so wonderful to see so many enthusiastic and motivated New York City students, parents, teachers, and school administrators join together for this opportunity to share their students' science investigations and findings. Thank you, students, for selecting interesting topics. I met quite a few of you as I walked around, and your enthusiasm is incredible. You picked topics that were interesting to you, you exhibited hard work as you researched, and your inquisitiveness is evident in how you designed and conducted your investigations. As I walked around learning more about these ex investigations, I could see how the Urban Advantage program is an excellent example of the type of programs New York City science-rich institutions provide so that New York City teachers can teach strong science investigation skills in the classroom. You have learned important work ethics and responsibility, as well as teamwork and leadership skills. I want to specifically thank the eight Urban Advantage partners, the American Museum of Natural History, Brooklyn Botanic Garden, Bronx Zoo, New York Aquarium, New York Botanical Garden, New York Hall of Science, Queens Botanical Garden, and the Staten Island Zoo. These partners are deeply committed to this program on behalf of New York City teachers, students, schools, and families. And they work tirelessly to ensure that all participants receive high quality professional development, resources, support, and access to these institutions. Very importantly, I also want to thank Speaker Quinn, Council Member, Member Brewer, and the rest of the City Council for its leadership and generous financial support of the Urban Advantage program. Without this support, this program would not have been possible. Thank you. All right, we got a couple of more, so can we do the hand thing one more time and let's tell the person standing next to us, shh, bring the noise down a little bit, it's a big space. So we've got a couple of our Urban Advantage partners that'd like to come up and talk about how important this program is for their organizations. First, I'd like to introduce Scott Medbury, who's the president of the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Thank you. Oh, thank you all. It's really exciting to be here with all of you students, with you parents, with you teachers, and this uh, celebrating your great achievements. What We're so impressed with all the hard work you put into these projects. And uh, I personally especially delighted to see all the ones that relate to plants, which we really care about. This program, Urban Advantage, has the best name of any program in the city, I really think, because we are all so lucky to be in New York and to take advantage of something as great as this great museum and all the cultural institutions that New York City has to offer. It's really a gift to each and every one of us. At Brooklyn Botanic Garden, we do research as well, and we work on plants, and we go to show that there's an urban advantage in plant research as well, that you don't have to go to a wild place like one of the great natural national parks. You can do research right here in New York City. We've been looking at the flora of New York City, what the plants that grow here over the last two centuries and have a really interesting set of studies on that. And we are excited. Next week, we are opening what is sort of the plant equivalent of all of these dioramas with bears and things here um, with an extension to the native flora garden where we're recreating the plants and the plant communities that had been here in New York City before so many people came to settle here. So it's a really exciting thing for us. 
One thing I just really want to address to all the students that have done such great projects is that we need you in science. We hope some of you will stay with science because there are so many interesting and unanswered questions. And so we're so impressed in the hard work you put in and what we're celebrating today, but we hope you'll stick with it because we need you. Congratulations to all of you and uh, uh, best wishes for a great summer. Thank you. And finally, I'd like to invite up to the podium Susan Lassert, the Executive Director of the Queen's Botanical Garden. Yay, Queens! Yay, Queens! Tomatoes, potatoes. Let's say it. Tomatoes, potatoes. Come on. Tomatoes, potatoes. I saw some great projects when I was walking around here. Tomatoes, potatoes, radishes, plants on hills windmill design, I am so impressed and it takes me back to when I was in what we then called junior high school. And I want to thank the American Museum of Natural History for having the idea for this program. We were part of it from the beginning and they're the real leaders. And the city council for funding this program for all these nine years and then also the board of education for all that they do to help bring science to the teachers, to the parent coordinators, to the students. It's a fabulous, fabulous program. So again, tomatoes, potatoes. Let's say it twice. Tomatoes, potatoes. Tomatoes, potatoes. And come on out to Queens and all of our institutions. Thank you. So congratulations to all the students and their teachers and families. Thank you for coming today, and have a great afternoon at the museum.